Hi, this is Severin from the 3D Applications team. In this tutorial, you will learn how to perform multi-phase segmentation using the interactive watershed tool of the Segmentation Editor. You will also learn how to visualize the result and the contact area of the different phases in your data. To follow this tutorial, you should preferably be familiar with the use of the Segmentation Editor. Please refer to our dedicated tutorials on that topic. Due to artifacts associated with image acquisition and reconstruction, the commonly used segmentation method by simple thresholding may give inaccurate or even often wrong results, especially in phase transition regions. For example, correct or unique threshold cannot be easily or accurately determined with edges blurred by noise and partial volume effect. Partial volume effect is caused by resolution limits in image acquisition, which blurs the transition between faces and features. In other cases, when segmenting more than two faces, a transition between high and low intensity phases may introduce artifacts with unwanted intermediate so-called coating phase. Finally, variations in illumination or intensity across image may lead to different thresholds on different regions. The watershed technique provides an effective solution for these issues in many cases. Let's now proceed with the multi-phase segmentation on a CT scan of a bottle. As you can see, when we cut the bottle with a clipping plan, we have nice contrast. But due to the partial volume effect, it's pretty hard to segment this kind of data with a global threshold. Attaching an Edit New Label Film module to the data triggers the opening of the Segmentation Editor. As a start, we need to define our three materials. The cap, the bottle, and the rest, which is more or less the air. For each of the materials, we define seed points with the brush tool. Switching to one viewer will make the selection easier to perform. With a smaller brush, we can even put seed points here. We switch the orientation again. We now add the selection to the cap material. Let's proceed to the next material, to the bottle. We add the selection to the bottle material. And because we have inclusions here, between the cap and bottle, it's not easy to mark the outside hair, so we use a global threshold. Let's say from 0 to 100. We press on Select Mask Voxels and then assign the selection to the rest material. Let's switch back to four viewers. Then we proceed to the Watershed tool and create a new gradient image. To understand the principle of the Watershed algorithm, let's go back to the project view and visualize the gradient with the 8 Map Slice module. You will see that where there are contrast changes in the gray level, there is a peak in the gradient's magnitude. The watershed algorithm simulates the progressive immersion of a landscape, starting from a set of labeled regions. The labels we have defined will be used as seed markers for watershed expansion. A virtual fluid fills the basins defined by the gradient magnitude until the liquids meet at the watershed lines. Let's go back to the segmentation editor. Select the watershed tool again, and as we already computed it, select the gradient image as landscape image. Now we hit Apply and create a new label field. You can see that we obtain a really robust and nice segmentation. We can remove the material rest, which we don't need anymore. Let's go back to the project view, where we have the result. We can visualize it with a voxelized rendering.
We can also triangulate the surface with the Generate Surface module. We lower a little bit the degree of smoothing. We can visualize a triangulated surface with the surface view. We can then visualize the contact area by using the buffer. First, remove everything and select only the triangles that are common to cap and bottle materials, which is in fact the contact area. We could also do this by using a label interface module with a number of two faces, no air, and six neighborhood. This only selects the voxels where the two materials touch. As a summary, in this tutorial, you should have learned how to perform multiphase segmentation using the interactive watershed tool of the segmentation editor and visualize your result and the contact area of the different faces in your data. Goodbye and thank you for viewing this tutorial.